Hi, this is Jim Laverde with the Soak Coach Everything RV. It's a chilly March morning uh, here in Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, I'm going to be putting in a mini septic system for my RV. Uh, and I want to take you along on the journey to see if maybe it's something you might be able to do. And uh, so I've got all the parts and pieces behind me and I'm just going to show you what I got and how I plan to do it. And uh, so enjoy the video and if you like what you see please subscribe and hit the like button okay so i've turned around and now we're looking at my uh the two barrels that we started with i had a friend that was painting his fence and he had these empty cans uh 55 gallon barrels on his property he told me i could have them grab those things brought them over to the house the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to cut a hole here in that tank and here in this tank and that way uh the hose from the RV will go into here. And um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a hole here and here. Inside this first tank, I'm gonna put this T in there. So as the water level rises, the water will go from, from the right to the left, kind of like this. This will be inside the tank, okay? And connecting the two tanks will be a piece of PVC like this. So, Again, we'll have these two. The solids will go to the bottom of this one and the water level will rise, go into here, and the affluent will fill up here, okay? And then basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut another hole probably around about right here where this pipe right here is gonna go in and connect to my peanut pipe that I bought from my local plumber store. And uh, this, uh, the plumbing parts cost me about $147 with tax and um, the barrels were free, and uh, I'm gonna pay a friend who's gonna bring an excavator over, and he's gonna charge me 200 bucks to, cut, uh, to dig my hole. And then I'm also gonna get some gravel uh, to go at the base of these things, maybe fill the gravel up to about right there, so that we, we can level out the, uh, the barrels. Okay, so that's the first part, and uh, so I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna dig. And where we're gonna put this system is right here where these yellow flags are and like i said you should call your utilities and get your lines measured out these uh, yellow flags represent right here our gas line i'm going to put i'm going to put the i'm going to dig the uh, uh i'm going to dig the hole right here or so and uh it's going to be wide enough for both those barrels we're going to set them in and away we're going to go Okay, so I've started my home septic system, and so basically I took this uh, jigsaw right here, cut a hole in the top of this 55-gallon drum, and this will be where the cap goes, just like that. You want to unscrew it, load it in, and then uh, so I'm going to put another hole right here, and this will be the connection between that, that tank and, that, and this tank over here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that hole. Okay, so I got this hole drill right here, and this pipe will be a lot shorter. It'll be about maybe two or three feet, like that. And uh, I'm gonna drill a hole in that one, and it'll connect the two pipes, and then I'll silicone them together. I also had a friend drop off a little bit of gravel. That'll, this gravel will go underneath the barrels and underneath and around the peanut pipe there. Although that's got a lot of uh, clearance there for the water to seep in and around. You still want to put the, the gravel underneath it. So, so here it's all pre-rigged for when my friend comes out with his excavator. So we have the first tank with the clean out right here. Like Talk about. And uh, the waste level will rise up, go into this tank, which will rise up, go into this tailpiece, and into this uh, 10, or I think that's 12 feet of peanut pipe right there. And so that's it in a nutshell. So peanut shell. <laughs> so that's my, uh, that's my rig that I'm using for my RV. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I got my friend with the excavator. He's going to dig a hole about five feet deep, enough to put both barrels in. 
And it's quite many right there. So. Our barrels in. Almost see the, the lovely uh, <laughs> stuff flowing through. Looks like it's just coming. Okay. In. So we've got both barrels in. We got our line in there, and we'll have the tail section coming out right there. <laughs> and uh, Clayton's doing a great job. Just yeah, like to really give uh, give yeah. Clayton give sure. Clayton two thumbs up for this wonderful oh, job he's doing. Here. Uh, gonna go down there and we're gonna take the trench for the peanuts. Yeah, maybe a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, he's digging the trench for the peanut pipe. I got about a deep and tall Yeah. Lots of that, buddy. This this is what it looks like. And he's now covering up the peanut pipe. Hopefully it'll work. see I put uh, about a foot and a half riser on there with that cap on there so I'm gonna backfill that and uh, that'll be my first riser I'm also gonna try to do something similar to that side but I have to buy another uh, $23 three foot four foot or two foot piece of pipe okay here's the final step to this I went and got a piece that's screwed on to the inner threads of this coupler right here and so that way there's no gas fumes that will come out from here actually i dumped my gray water and <laughs> oh man it stinks but uh anyway so i've got it running from the back there i'm gonna probably you know i don't know maybe build some kind of a cover for for this so it doesn't get so much sunlight but that's the end result and i've already dumped it it works so far, so good. And uh, thank you for watching. And I hope that this video has helped you out. And uh, this is Jim with this old coach, Everything RV. Until next time, we'll talk to you later.